Good afternoon traders. It is Monday, August 26, 2013 and the U.S. stock market is closed. You know, I would much prefer not doing a video on a day like today. I do not like bad markets and you know, all of August has been kind of a crappy month for the overall market, but somehow we've um, duck bullets here and there and we've done fairly well in August but today the bad market kind of caught up with us and I'm not very happy about it. Uh, August is a very thin month as far as trading goes and the last week of August is the thinnest of the thin. You know, everybody's taking off prior to Labor Day weekend and uh, we just don't have a lot of people trading in the market. When you have a very thin market, uh, it doesn't take much to uh, move it. And today, there, there's got traders, you know, sitting around wringing their hands over uh, the specter of the Fed's easing up on the bond buying program. That's been haunting this market all month long and today was no exception. So we had the market basically start out fairly positive earlier on in the day and then it, it sold off on the end and that that kind of action really hurts us. So I'm not very happy today. We closed out $2,200 in negative trades. Now, $2,200 losses, no big deal at all. But I'll tell you what's got me worried. It's our open trade equity. We are carrying nearly $9,000 in losing trades uh, going into tomorrow. And what's worse yet, we have a lot of positions. We have 15 positions, and get this, 14 of them are negative. Uh, that's really scary because if the market decides to go in the toilet tomorrow, uh, you know, $9,000 could easily become $20,000 or even worse. I am not happy about this. I'm nervous about it. I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. Anyway, uh, there just isn't too much that I can say good about today. It just was not a good day for us. Anyway, let me show you the charts. Okay, we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average and you can see here we had uh, two consecutive uh, up days in a row. Not very convincing and today I thought, I was hoping we'd get some uh, more positive action that looked that way. Uh, early on in the day and of course this little move uh, up here at the beginning of the day we got into a, quite a lot of positions and then you know just look at this mess at the end this all took place in the last hour and the market sold off rather convincingly and closed near its low uh, that put the Dow down 65 points you know, I could live with that, but this action, you know, looks to me like we could see some more downside action tomorrow. And of course, having downside action when we're holding 15 positions and 14 of them a negative, that's scary. And as I say, I, you know, our system has held up very well all August. We've made some decent money. But today, it's like the bad market cost caught up with us. It doesn't look good. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, to, this is this is just one example. Uh, well, this is the worst trade uh, we had today. But this is in Expedia, EXPE, and you can see on Friday we had this huge move up. Don't really get a big move like that. There's going to be a little follow through. There never was any follow through. We waited uh, 30 minutes and we got in here but we hardly ever had any positive action. It just kept going down, down, down and then this morning it gaps down a little more and it just keeps going down. We get out of here. We're down $4,000 on this trade. 
it really sucked. So that was our worst trade. I'll show you the only thing positive we had today was in uh, a 3D Corporation DDD and uh, we bought this gap up on the morning. We got in and it looked pretty good for a while. I mean we were in you know into the afternoon here with good profits and then just like the rest of the market uh, 3D starts developing uh, weakness and we end up you know we're holding a few hundred dollars positive and out of 15 trades this is the only trade that is positive not good I am not happy this is Trader Bob signing off I'll see you tomorrow on Tuesday